So I'm sorry, it's been a long, long time since I filmed the YouTube video. I feel a bit weird about it. So today I will show you how to create and use two different types of palettes into Clip Studio Paint. As you will be able to see, it will be super simple. And I will give you my own template of palette so you can actually try and see by yourself how easy and fun it can be. So stay until the end of the video to have the template. I mean, the link is already in the description. So I will show you how to make and use the basic Clip Studio palette, but also how to make a palette from the subview option in Clip Studio Paint. So at the end of this video, you will be able to find what's better for you. Just for you to know, I made a playlist called How to Use Clip Studio Paint, and this is the first video in this playlist. So it is a playlist to know how to use the software itself, not necessarily how to make a webtoon. This is why I made this playlist, so just check it out. So the difference between these two types of palettes can be seen pretty quickly. So first we have the basic clip to your palette, which is displayed by squares and if you choose so, names. So for me, I made tiny codes to know which color is for what. But you can also choose to display only squares, so without names. To do this, you just click here on the lines view and you can choose to display only squares and you can choose the size of the squares and on the other hand we have this kind of palette which is made with the sub view option so to create a sub view we will see it later i'm just showing you the difference right now but don't worry i'm gonna show you how to create each palette and how to use each one so as you can see here i made tiny faces for my characters and i also made tiny icons to know what color is for what i also made another palette for NPCs in my webtoon so my assistant while making flat colors can choose whatever palette she wants and I have a tiny palette for the creatures of my webtoon of course this one is fully decorated because why not but on my discord server I will give you these types of templates so the decorated one but also the simple one so you can choose uh, whatever you prefer so I started with the simple one but after a while I got bored so I've just put some frames in it yeah I will show you how to make both of them but let's start for now with the classical CSP palette so first how to set up your clip to your palette so let's imagine we don't have this palette display here I mean it can be here or anywhere you've put your palette let's say we don't have this palette um, displayed on your screen so to turn on this palette I mean to display it on your screen you go on window and go on color set and tada you have a palette so yours will probably look like this more than what I have here when your palette looks like this it just means that you have no color registered in it so we will keep this uh, view here so with the names if you prefer you can totally again choose what you want to have so just squares or the list displayed so we'll keep the list because I want to show you how to put names to your colors so now that we have displayed it how to use this palette uh, let's start with the names so you just have to double click on your name space and put your name and then just press enter and that's it. So you have two different types of color picking for your palette. So first you can enable these options right here. These options allows you to save your color right when you pick a color from the color picker. So let me show you. I'm gonna enable this. And now when I go with my color picker and pick a color, ta-da, you have a color picked. So it's perfect to be quick when you're, for example, make um, character sheets or something like that. So you can just pick the color just by clicking on it. Now let's design this option and you can add a color with this option or this option so first grab another color and let's say we want to replace this purple white right here we just have to click here to replace the color and tada but you can also add a new color so it will not replace any color it will just add a new one so let's just take a color here on our color wheel and you click here on add a color and tada now if you want to delete any colors you just have to click on this tiny trash here and done <laughs> this is your list of sets so you can choose whatever sets you want to display or not but let's keep going with the new one if you click here you can manage all your color sets so as you can see i can drag and drop my set and just put it right at the bottom of the list i can create a new set or i can duplicate the one i have selected 
or actually delete it or I can rename it. So keep in mind that whatever changes you made here have to be saved by clicking on OK. If you click on cancel, the changes will not be made. So if you delete, for example, this but you didn't want to, you just have to click on cancel. It will still be here. And now let's take a look at this option right here. This is add a color set and you will see that you will be able to add from the assets a new color set. So let's find it. <laughs> Sorry if I'm a bit white right now, it's because of the screen, but don't worry, it will not be too long. So let's choose a pretty color set. Let's choose a random one, so this one for example. So click here on download and we'll be waiting for it to download. We will go back on Clip Studio and tada, you have your color sets here. And so we click on the color set we want and add to the palette. And tada, we have a new color set. So now let's take a look at these three lines. When you click here, you have edit the color set. So it's basically this option right here. You also have change the color set, which is basically the list you have already here. But you can also import a new palette. So let me show you how it works. So when you click on it, you can choose a CLS type of file, which is the CSP color palette type of file. So double click on it and ta-da, you have a new palette. And if you want to export one of your palettes, you can totally do just to share with your friends, etc. So click here on export, choose a name and you will be able to export and share your own palette. You can also save your color set as a material. So here you can name it, choose a folder. You have your palette here and you can drag and drop your palette and add it. Here you can add a color set. So once again, it's just basically this option right here. Here are the options you have at the bottom of your color set view. You can also change the name of the color. As I showed you previously here, you have the option of automatic color picker option. This option is the view of your palette. So if you want a list or if you just want squares, here you can enable or not the list. So if I just disable it, you know, you don't have the list or the options we had at the top of it. This option disable the options at the bottom of your palette. This option is really interesting actually, is to change the order of your colors. You can totally just click here and it will allow you to change the orders by just drag and drop your colors. But I don't recommend it because personally, it happens to me a lot that out of bad movements, I just take my color and just switch it and so it fuck up all of my palette. So what I recommend to do is just to keep this option. So control and drag and drop. So when I just, you know, want to drag and drop, it doesn't work. So I just have to press control on my keyboard and I can actually change the color placement. If you place your color at the end of it here, it will disappear. So beware about that. When you want to place a color at the end of your palette, just place it between the two last one and then I after you take the last one and you place it here. Because again, if you place your color at the end here, it will disappear. And for the last option, you have a disable the color sets, which is just basically hiding your color set window. And ta-da, that's it for the Clip Studio Classic palette. Now let's take a look at this one, so the funnier one. How to create your subview palette. So the first thing to know about your palette is that you have to create a clip file, like an illustration file. So I'm going to show you with mine. So as you can see, this is my illustration file file so you have all the layers etc basically you just want to create a piece of art to edit anytime you need as you can see i have a folder for all of my characters and when i open it i have the tiny face so the character itself i have the tiny accessory palette and when i open each palette you have squares and for each color i have on my character sheet i just add it so with the color picker go on my palette I go on my tiny square, I just lock it and I just fill with the color of each part of the outfit. So this is how I personally do. Create your uh, drawing, create your piece of art with your characters, etc. And just for you to know, yes, you can also display your character sheet into your subview, but we will get to it in a quick moment. Don't worry. So now you can either display the whole clip file into the subview, which will lead the palette to be updated anytime you update 
the clip file without having to export it into a picture file. Then the subview will open the clip file into Clip Studio every time you open the software, which I don't recommend because it then makes the software pretty heavy since there is always a clip file opened into your software. So first, to show you what I mean, we will actually enable the subview. So to do this, you go on Window and Subview here and you have the subview. So your subview is technically empty at first. To open a file, so either a picture file or a clip file, you just go here and select the file you want to open. If I'm opening my clip file, it will take a few moments because again, the clip file is pretty heavy. So as you can see, I have my clip file and if I modify like any colors on it, it will be displayed here. Here I added this one and I save the clip file. It will be then updated here. Tada! So you have it updated here. But I don't recommend it because as you just saw, it was a bit too long to update because my clip file is pretty heavy. So this is why I don't recommend having clip files into the subview. So what I do, instead of opening the clip file, I just open the PNG file, which is way better. So once you are done with your palette, so here I have all the colors I need, I just export my clip file as a PNG or a JPEG file. So as you can see, I already have my palettes here. Now let's open the PNG file, palette dot png and it will be way quicker the only difference with this and opening the clip file is that you will have to export your palette every time into png but it's pretty quick let me show you if once again i add a color then i will just save it so png and i will just replace my actual png file no need to create a new one and open a new one just replace it and it will be here updated so it's way quicker even if you have more steps to do it will be way quicker to show so i really recommend this so your csp will not be too heavy so this is how you set up your uh, subview palette now let me show you how to use it so let's see all the options so here you have the zoom of your palette here you have plus and minus zoom and here you have it to adjust it to the size of your palette window here you have the rotation so left and right and reset the rotation these two are the mirrors option so mirror your palette if you need here is the trash option so if you want to get rid of one of the picture like don't want it to be displayed into your subview you can totally get rid of it and tada you don't have it anymore um, to open it again you have this option so let's open our palette here you can open your picture or your palette into csp as a file now i opened my palettes as a canvas. Here you can display all of your actual palettes, so the ones that are opened into the subview, and you can choose take one palette or the other pretty quickly, or you can use these two arrows to navigate between each palette. Of course you can put many different types of pictures, like make a montage and have two different pictures opened into a same picture. <laughs> if I can say it like this, uh, but I prefer this way so it, it is separated and actually pretty organized. And the best option is here. So this is the color picker option. So if I disable it, when I will put my mouse on it, it will just make me move around the palette. So this is why I prefer to use this option. Instead of having the tiny hand to move, you will have an auto color picker. So it will work the same as the actual Clip Studio palettes, like the classic one. So I prefer to enable this option so I can color pick my colors pretty quickly. As you can see, tube, 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 tube. And the funny thing with it is that you actually have a tiny zoom on it, so it helps you to color pick each color you need. So this is how to use these tiny options at the bottom. And as the classic CSP color palette have, you also have here three tiny lines. Here are the zoom and rotation options. Here is the adjust to the window. This this option is basically this option here and here you can enable the color wheel or not when you pick your color so let's disable it to see the difference so when you pick a color you don't have this zoom which i don't recommend because i think you can see better with the color wheel just enable it is easier to me as you can see with some skin colors i have really close colors so i really need this actual wheel here you can obviously import new pictures or new palettes you can delete your palette you have the list of the pictures these two options are basically these two arrows this option is basically 
this one so open a picture into clip studio and here you can disable or enable the comments the tiny options at the bottom and here you can even disable or enable the rotation which i will disable actually because I don't need the rotation option, I just never use it, so I can disable it. And here you can enable or disable the save view. And that's it for these two palettes, I mean how to use them. Now let's talk a little bit about my templates you can download. So I will give you this template on my Discord server, but also the simple one I made at first. For this you just have to go on the link in the description and just click on it and join my Discord server. And you will find both of the templates into the art resources category i mean the channel and this is a category i put a lot of resources so yeah just take a look join the community we don't talk a lot in it which i actually like because i'm not a huge talker into communities but anyway feel free to download it and like leave the server if you want i don't really care to be honest i just need a space to put things i share <laughs> and i find pretty useful to you but feel free to tag me on socials if you use it also uh, i would be happy to see so this is the end of the video as always don't hesitate to ask for tips or new videos ideas into the comments even though i already have a long list of videos to make that's it i hope this helped love you bye bye